Hello and welcome back. Today is a wonderful day because we are making food. And any day that food is involved, it's a great day. Any video that food is involved, it's a great video. So I propose, go sit on your couch in your bed, grab a blankie, grab your dog or your pet, and grab some snacks if you want, grab some drinks, and chill out, because this is gonna be a chill cooking video today. Well, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to make the cheeseburger egg rolls. Now, if you've never had these from Magic Kingdom, they are If you, <laughs> I saw you. Now, if you've never had the cheeseburger egg rolls from Magic Kingdom, they're so good, but I will tell you, if you make them at home, they're even better. I'm wearing my comfy clothes. I'm wearing a DVC sweater. I'm wearing gray sweatpants and fluffy socks, not socks, fluffy slippers. So get comfortable and hang out with us as we make cheeseburger egg rolls. Okay. Before we get cooking, I'm just gonna show you guys really quick exactly what we need, or what you're gonna need. Um, all the measurements and, dire and directions will be down in the description, but I'll just kind of be filming segments along for you guys. Um, so you'll need some yellow mustard, if that is the mustard you like. Again, everything is like up to your preference, but yellow mustard, Worcestershire sauce. Um, Pickles, vegetable oil, a lot more than this for frying the egg rolls, an onion, Wisconsin cheddar cheese, and a second type of cheese. And lastly, you'll need egg rolls. All right, so, oh, and ground beef. The main part, uh, my ground beef is, the blood is leaking, so it has to stay in the sink, but one pound of ground beef is in there. Let's start by cooking the ground beef. paper laid out on the counter, your egg rolls, a little thing of water, you really don't even need that much, a plate that you're gonna put your egg rolls on, and I think that's it. So let me show you guys how to do one, and then we are going to do all the rest. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is take one of your egg rolls. You're gonna take about a quarter cup, and you are going to put it at one edge. Then you're gonna wanna take your slice of cheese, and just put, you can put that on the bottom, I just forgot. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna roll it once over like that. Now you're gonna take the edges and tuck those puppies in. And then the very tip, you don't want too much or else the dough will break, but you wanna kind of just like wipe water on the surface and then close it and hold it there for like a second. And there, it sticks to the dough, it sticks to itself. If you have any loose thingies like this, mm -hmm. you wanna try to like add some water and kind of pinch it closed because you don't want any of the oil kind of like seeping in and like getting super oily as you're cooking. So if you have like some loose edges, just like water that part and stick the dough to it. And that's it, there's your egg roll. We just finished rolling all of these. It made about 20, I think. So we're gonna do 10 and fry it in that, which I'll show you in a second. And we're gonna do 10 and we're gonna bake it. Okay, so the oil is heating up right now. It's gonna heat up to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. For the oven one, it is heat preheating. It's heating up to 425 degrees and that's gonna go in here for 10 to 15 minutes. with some salad, yummy. Mm -hmm. So now let's try them and see which one we like better. Okay, so we just finished eating the food and I personally, I think that the fried tasted better because the dough was bubbly, so it was more light. <laughs> Did I just say that with the Irish accent? <laughs> bubbly and more light. <laughs> so the baked egg rolls were less oily but they were, like the dough didn't bubble up and it felt more hard and like dense. 
but the fried was like you bit it and it was crispy and it just kind of like broke apart and it was more airy and like light. Mm -hmm. Then we had it with salad and I added some mustard on top and Josh had it with hot sauce and it was very delicious so we would recommend. Which one did you like better, the fried or the baked? I like the fried one better too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fried I think was, like you said, it was like light and crispy and you bit into it and it would break like you said. Mm -hmm. The other one was good. Maybe if we cooked the baked one a little bit less. If you do try it, which I really think you should, let us know what ingredients you switched out. What kind of cheese did you use if you used cheese? Uh, make sure to leave it in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and a magical month and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.